what is up guys then just a quick update on this pc that we built in our previous video for you so this was actually a donated pc that was going for the scrap heap and we actually took out everything out of this old zoo storm if you remember so we stripped it out and put and built a new one from scratch so that's pretty much empty now apart from the connecting wires and the end result was actually quite decent i think if we'll just give you an idea so we actually Installed the motherboard, installed the memory cards, we installed hard drive, power supply unit, so inside is actually quite a neat finish, um, better than we could have hoped for actually. So we put in the LED light strips and it, they match the original fan light strips, so it's quite silent actually, I'm quite surprised, it's running very very smoothly. Um, so we decided in this video to add a second monitor for you, this one over here, uh, is using a DVI connector at the back which is quite easy to do. Two monitors can have multiple purposes, multiple uses as well, if you want to use it for sort of stock trading, um, just watching the candles, uh, or for multiple gaming, multiple multiplayer gaming, or just for sort of um, better aesthetics really, it can have a use. So we decided to use two ports, we've got a VGA that's really connected to this monitor over here, which is the main one. Uh, so yep, just a VGA cable goes into the back of your graphics card um, port there and we've got a DVI connector next to it and a DVI cable here so this DVI cable just simply slots into there and yep yeah, just have to push it into place there we go and the other end of the DVI connector obviously we'll just put it into the back of the monitor and make sure we use good good quality cables just to get a sort of decent picture and not too many issues, sort of compatibility issues. So we've got a little monitor here. This is monitors don't cost too much. This is about twenty-five to thirty pounds, so it's not going to add, add a huge sort of cost to the total. And simply just slide it into the back of the connectors over here. Oh, it's a bit hard for me to get my camera around to show you. If you just bear with me. Right, so they're tucked in right underneath there. If you can see, yep, that's the VGA and that's the DVI ports. We just connect it into there, um, and that should, yep, just connect into there, and that should be able to. Um, I'll just quickly run it through for you. So the other end of the DVI cable just goes into the back of the monitor, and it's a bit hard to get into because of the, yep, just slots into there. Stand comes into the way there, that's it. So that will go into the back of there. The power cable is already connected on the other side, just about there. Don't know if you can actually see. Yep, that's the power cable connected. And now we're just going to connect it back um, and I'll walk you through what you need to do on the software on the main screen. Let's just switch it on for you. So once you turn them on, they should look like this. Uh, you've got both displays, but they haven't actually been extended. Um, so if you can see all my games and all my software hasn't actually moved on to the new screen So what you have to do is on the main screen if you just right click with your mouse and go on to uh, display settings and Then what we do is just click on identify And that should give you numbers one and two I'll Do that for you again yeah, one and two and then if you go into the main screen just scroll down a little bit further It should give you an option for extend these displays and you've got three options show only on one show only on two extend these displays and duplicate if you click on duplicate and then it will ask you to keep display settings if you click on keep settings and if you close the main monitor that should do it so if you can see now I've got all my games and all my software on both screens and it does look absolutely amazing uh, so yep I all came out of this, which was headed for the scrapyard, and with a bit of effort and time, it turned into something absolutely amazing, as you can see. So, just to give you a quick idea of its gameplay capabilities, I'll just give you a quick demo. So, just to give you a quick idea of its gameplay, this is Call of Duty 3 Black Ops. Remember, this was originally just a scrapped PC, so dual monitors do actually make a lot of difference. I'll try and play for you at the same time. And yeah. As you can see, it's smooth, it doesn't jerk at all, and it does add extra aesthetic appeal to your gameplay as well. This is Halo Reach, just to give you a quick idea. Again, the picture is very, very smooth at the moment, and the two monitors just 
gives you a much bigger view of your gameplay. Um, I'll just quickly fire a few rounds off for you. That's it. So both displays are actually running very, very smoothly at the moment. Um, just to add a bit of um, finesse to it, we actually ordered a custom-made um, mouse mat. Uh, so it's a Stormtrooper edition PC with a Stormtrooper mouse mat, just to finish it off. A white and black edition. And um, if you do actually like um, the mouse mat, I'll leave a link in the description for you. We can actually order it to any image that you like. Um, it's actually quite, it does actually make it look quite, quite nice and finishes it off neatly. And again, all of this is just from a scrap PC that was about to be thrown away. And it's actually come out to be a beautiful system. Thank you so much for your kind and generous support, guys. We really appreciate every single subscriber that actually watches our videos. Thank you so much. If you like more videos like this, please leave a comment in the section below. That is the end result for you guys. All this from a broken down PC that was headed for the scrapyard. And it's turned into quite a decent PC with twin skin monitors. If you enjoyed this video or would like to see more videos like this, please drop us a comment below. And uh, we'd love to hear your comments and also... If you'd like to see more videos about scrap pieces being turned into decent home or decent gaming pieces, please uh, give us a comment below. In the meantime, thank you so much for your generous support, guys. Uh, please be kind enough to look after yourselves, and we'll catch you in the next one.